Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. This is Coach Eva, Eva Eckert, and I am your host. Some of you know me from the bootcamp and boxing facility. Some of you see me always working out here with you online, but some of you never met me. This is your first time, so thank you for being here. And let me introduce you what, what is the No Excuses Ladies show all about. It's a weekly show uh, for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses in your life and find themselves being unhappy and uh, unsuccessful in life. This weekly show will teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in your life. Move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided by me no excuses tribe is welcoming all the badass ladies out there and those of you who want to become a badass because i believe that all of you have it i am here to help you support you guide you and lead you to your full potential i will teach you the power of self-belief motivation, discipline, mastermind alliance, so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you deserve and desire by being the best version of you. So I think this was the whole idea of what the No Excuses Ladies is all about. So let's get started. Grab a pen and paper because I'm sure you're going to get some valuable information as we discuss so many things every week. So please join me. Please, um, please join me and uh, participate. Answer, uh, put your questions, put your answers. Uh, I would love for you to all participate. So as always a gift, my gift to you, I offer you guys a free coaching call for about 20 minutes. So make sure that you actually uh, drop in your information in the link provided and we can schedule that call for about 20 minutes. Now, thank you so much for giving me the time and being here. Uh, this, uh, this is really amazing that you guys showing up and giving me your time in today's crazy world, right? We are super busy. We all busy and yet you find the time. And I believe that being surrounded by the good things in our life, getting the good information uh, from the good, the right source, it's some kind of a good, uh, a good food for your brain. And that's what I always, you always find me to talk about it. So this is very important. Now, what were we, what were we call, talking about last week? A, always quick, a quick rehab, re recap from what we were talking about. Uh, uh, we were really talking about how to stay fit and healthy for life. And and I think it was a great episode to really uh, digging deep down to the core. So make sure you're watching the previous episodes. And of course, today's episode. Today's episode will be all about the continuation of the habits. But the nine habits that I will share with you are based on my personal experience, how they help me, help my family. And I believe that you can. Take some notes on these habits. Find something that really will resonate with you, will help you, or maybe will spark an idea of a, a creation of a new habit, something that will be great for you. So let's start. And again, please participate. Send me messages. I'm going live on all these different social media tools. So make sure that you are making a comment or contacting me directly if you have any questions, right? So with, in life in general, we always trying to, we looking for balance, right? Well, that's what I always find out from my coaching clients, from people that everybody wants to have like a balance and, and good life and happy and, and joyful, right? And we always trying to find the routines that will help us with it. And I believe that by finding the right habits, the routines, not only you will be more organized, but there are other valuable things that will happen in your life. And that's what we're going to go over today, because I believe that having these routines will help you tremendously. And you're going to feel that balance by having those routines. So there's some people think I don't have any 
and they are scattered all over the place. They don't have any kind of habit or any kind of routine. They find themselves really scattered. So what are the routines and habits that you have daily? I would love to find out from you. Please write in the comments, drop in a, in a, in a box right there, write it down. What are the habits that you have? And what are the habits that maybe you don't like on, on, or no longer want to have? What are the habits and things that you should you want to get rid of because we all have them and let me tell you when i'm gonna go over all these points with you guys this didn't happen overnight let me be clear it doesn't happen with a magic wand i have one here and i always play around with this boom like this it doesn't happen like this it's a process it's really uh, evaluation looking at your life, what works and what doesn't. It's always like this. So you need to really tune into yourself, as I always say, and find the, the, the right one for you. It's not about perfection. It's, it's just finding something that really, truly works. So number one, habit of AM and PM routines. And if you've never watched my show, you've, you've never looked into our episodes, my episodes, I strongly recommend you. We were, we were going over some deep down things on the AM routines. Now, what are really the AM and PM routine? It's all about getting up in the morning and doing the most important tasks of your day, concentrating on, on that 5% that you're supposed to be doing, doing things that maybe throughout the day you cannot do. Uh, what is the AM routine all about? Uh, being really scheduled for the day, starting the day right, uh, eating the right foods, getting up early in the morning when the, uh, the the world is still sleeping, you're getting up and you're concentrating or maybe working on a project. Maybe you're getting up in the morning to uh, start to start working on your business uh, because that's the only time that you have. Maybe getting up in the morning and doing that workout that you should have. And again, everybody will have a different a.m. and p.m. routine. But what I've realized over the course of many years that for me, getting up early in the morning, if you would see me, you would think I am robotic or maybe I am just like literally everything is the same, but that the same leads me to success, that the same leads me to be organized, that the same has its own place on the calendar. So getting up, you know, washing my face, brushing my teeth, going and getting my Herbalife tea, Herbalife shake, uh, doing wonderful, it's super cool, amazing, strongly recommend you uh, to do that. It's different. All of us will have a different routine, but creating an AM routine that it's based on you guys, something that's really, really important for you. Now, the PM would be the same. And I have to tell you, I used to struggle with the PM routine. It was, it was, um, it wasn't as, as direct as it's now. It wasn't as organized as it now. Right now, literally on the phone shows a PM routine. And I know that it's time to do that. As well, even the kids' showers shows on my phone. Can you imagine? So I would know that I shouldn't be pushing forward. That I shouldn't be doing other things. Those are reminders that will help you. So uh, what I mean by is struggling. It was just not even. It wasn't the right way to uh, to finish the day. Nowadays we do journaling. We are reflecting on a day, and if I have some things that then really either bothering me or things that I will have to do next day, I will write down on a piece of paper. So it's like a brain dump for me. So I don't need to worry overnight because sometimes you're going to lose the sleep over this. So that's number one. Number two is habit of being prepared. And what I mean by this, no matter what you do in life, you should be prepared. This, what I have right now in front of you, it's being prepared. It's being prepared right now. I have um, I have notes. So if you come to work, you should be prepared. If you're performing in front of your boss, you should be prepared. If you if if I have a meeting with Steve, my husband, who is my business partner, I am prepared. Uh, I 
that's what it is being prepared and that should be your habit and if we if we doing the workouts guys the workouts that you guys do those are prepared workouts for the past 20 years in business of fitness and nutrition and having successful seven figure business and in new york when we had multi locations every single coach that worked for us. Every single session that I had, it was prepared. It was never winging it. As versus I've seen always other gyms just winging the, the, the session. It was unacceptable. Preparedness, that's what we're talking about. So number three, habit of learning daily. Stimulating your brain. Like, I don't know, maybe you do Sudoku. Maybe you do something else. Maybe you play some cool video games for yourself to stimulate the brain. For me, it's doing personal development daily. I have it on the schedule. It's always happening. Either it's uh, it's learning from, a, from another coach or a podcast or, um, of course, reading books. That happens too. So pretty much I have personal development at least a half an hour to 45 minutes or an hour of studying. Then there is reading books or at least some podcasts. You can listen to those when you make dinner, my friends. That's how it is. Buy yourself that bigger speaker, turn it on, and listen while you're making dinner. It's what we call it a daily level up session. And this all comes down to when you think about it. It's the podcast, the um, the reading, and this is all personal development. This is all a good food for your brain. Now, number four, habit of eating the good and nutritious food. That's so important. And it starts for me with the AM routine. And why this is so important, like think about it, all these habits that I'm talking about, like when you really think about it, this is, this is really crucial for your life. Uh, we went over a few of them right now. Like if you pause and think, you will realize why this is so important. I think about it, good and nutritious, nutritious food. If you don't support your system, the temple that I was talking about last week, this is your temple. This is your body. If, you don't gonna, if you're not going to support it with good food, you're going to be dragging your day. You're not going to have a good energy. You're not going to have good thoughts and positive thoughts. So this is all starts with that. Like we give food for our mind in a way like good food, good absorption of the good, good um, positive thoughts and podcasts and reading, right? The same thing for our body. You have to say, you have to have that good food for your body. So what we starting with breakfast, eating every two, three hours. And that's the session that was teaching you last week. Exactly. Episode 24 was teaching you broken down deep, deep down exactly the information that you need this is a golden goose in the other episode i broke down so deeply that if you're gonna apply this every day you're gonna have amazing phenomenal body that's just take it in and apply do this what i told you do this every every two three hours eating right avoid salt sugar and flour and and drinking coffee late at night, you should get rid of this. You should not really drink in coffee. And for me, the latest one is about 3 to 4 p.m. Because if I continue later, I might not have a peaceful sleep. And of course, with everything is timing. Timing is so crucial. And that's what I teach you doing the supplementation before the workout, doing supplementations after workout, uh, what you eat before the workout, what you eat after, what you eat in the morning, what you eat at night is crucial. And that's what I broken down in a session 24. So I don't wanna uh, keep on repeating and lose the value of this session. Go back, take some notes on the other one because that's what's gonna give you exactly. And number five is habit of taking a great care of yourself. And what I mean by this is the mental and physical aspect, uh, the, the, the psychological aspect, uh, because positive, we're starting with positive self-talk. When I get up in the morning, I am so grateful for the fact that I woke up, that it's going to be a great day. The first thing when my feet hit the ground, this is what I say. I am grateful I'm up. I am so grateful that I have that internal drive to get me up so early and 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 I am going to deliver the best. 
And that's why, I, like right now, I'm super pumped and excited for those episodes because I know that they bring value and I know that you're going to get something awesome out of this. So uh, this is excitement. What else? You can stay in front of the mirror and say, look, you are awesome. You are amazing. Just tune into what you have to offer and don't live someone else's dream. This is your life. This is your dream. So what is that that you want to do? What is that that you want to do and give to others? Because remember, when we're giving to others, when we produce something or create something that help others, that's the value. That's the true value. Like we did, we did with Peak Physique. Peak Physique for so many years have been delivering these most amazing sessions. And most importantly, saving people's life, teaching them how to eat for weight loss, exercising. That's right there, right? You got to drink water, guys. And this is my huge bottle that I always do. See, this, this episode is real, as real as it gets. That's how we roll. And that's how you should think. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and exhale. And don't stress of the, all these little things. It's all going to work out. It's all going to be great. So whatever you plan to do, you have the power. If you are talented, if you are artist. Just make a plan and do it right, and you're going to do it. So, um, but again, it has to come from the congruency of being who you are. I cannot imagine doing anything else other than this. I love coaching. I love interaction with people. I love people. I love giving them advice. I love listening to their struggles and problems and trying to teach them the right, right way. That's my thing. What's your thing? It's, and you, you know it. But sometimes you're just not doing the right thing. And what happens is, think about it, the positive self-talk in the morning. If you're going to get up and you're going to be so good to yourself, if you're good to yourself, more good will come to you. That's natural way. But think about it. If you get up and you're going to be grumpy and grouchy and you're going to say, ah, you suck. Ah, you are just awful. Think about how the day will going to go for you. Or you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and you're going to say, oh, my God. You are this and this, especially when it comes to fitness. We never satisfied the way how we look. Even the people that do fitness shows and other things, they also suffer with this. So accept, accept how you are. But have a plan for a change, meaning it's okay that I'm here, but I already decided I want to change. Right. So catch yourself all those little things, the way how you speak to yourself, because it's so important. We always say we are freak, we are freaking awesome. I am freaking awesome. I am amazing. That self-talk in the morning is so important. And I guarantee you try it today. Try it tomorrow. And I guarantee you it's going to change for you. Your life will change because you need to have this good vibrancy in your life. What else is important as a habit, like the, the physical, the, for men, the mental? It's exercising. Three to five days a week is recommended. However, you can be a freak like me and work out six days a week or seven days a week. I love this. Not everybody uh, requires um, a full break and a, a day off, but there are some people uh, you know, if you think that you need, go for it. But exercise, find something that you absolutely love. And I always will tell you, don't do only cardio. That's from my previous episodes. Do also a strength training because as as we progress in life, after age 27, you lose the muscle uh, mass and you need to do weight-bearing exercises, lifting weights. That's what's going to give you the shape, the tone that you're looking for. So this is very important exercising not only for the way how we look but the way how we feel right we feel vibrant like think about exercises after exercise you might feel tired but you awake you feel like the blood has been pumped through your uh, through, through your body and you feel amazing right thank you guys for joining so that's important what else is that habit number we are at uh, habit number five right now uh, what else is important supplementation right the vitamins the shakes that's important because you wear and tear your body 
this is your temple, as I always tell you. You got to take care of it. So if you exercise, don't think that exercise, you only, uh, people think a lot of times it's like exercise and there is nothing else. Some people are very um, resentful as far as taking shakes and supplementation, but it has been designed with uh, through companies to help you recover. That's what it's all about. And you need to recover because when you lift weights, when you exercise, you're breaking down the fibers and you need to rebuild them, guys. That's what it's all about. So it, it, try it. I'm telling you today, you don't know what, send me a message and I will help you with making the right decision for you. Uh, uh, something that is going to be amazing and it's going to help you in your life. Because that's what we've been doing. Our family, our Peak Freak family, check it out. That's what we do. My kids are seven and nine years old. They've been drinking protein shakes. Of course, I make them differently, but that's what they've been doing. Because if Tyson is training and he is lifting 25 pounds in each hand, right now he's nine years old, I need to give him a good recovery. And look what I did with the PM routine when everybody drinks shakes. Are there going to be any shakes? I don't scream, but Steve does and Tyson and Ivanka, and they say it with that funny voice. I taught them. I taught my kids how to do that. And there is no other food other than the shake. My son is already know enough that there is no eating chocolate in the evening. There is no eating sugar before he goes to sleep. So not only this is good for you, but you become an influencer for your friends and family and you teach them the right things. So spread the world and make sure that you do the right things, especially in your PM routine. What else? Drinking water. Salute. Drink your water. We are made out of water. That's another habit for your mental, physical aspect of your body. You need to drink water to metabolize the fat, vitamins. You need to. A lot of people have a struggle when they don't drink water. People very overweight don't drink a lot of water. I've been in this fitness business with as a coach as a coach for twenty years, twenty plus years. Uh, you guys asking me, is that possible? Yes, it is. I started super early, and this is a common thing. So water, and of course, the hygiene overall. Maybe go out there and get a massage. Do something good for yourself because you need to take care of yourself. So we're talking about the aspects, all different aspects, right? So make sure that you're watching this video from the beginning because we are at number five. Now we're going with number six, guys. So a habit of daily gratitude. And that's what I, would talk, what I was telling you when I get up in the morning and I do my AM routine. That's where the gratitude is, right there. And on my phone, I have, as of now, probably 80 different messages uh, as being thankful. But I have my own personal notebook. Look at this. I created myself. It says, no excuses here. Be always on your A game. This has few years here. I put my thankful list as well. And I'm going to go back to this in a second because this is pretty cool. So gratitude. A lot of people think, oh, mambo jumbo, some gratitude, grateful for. And guys, it is. The universe is around us. The universe knows how you are. And if you're grateful for what you have, more will come to you. And I am walking example of it. And I know that being saying thank you for what you have, it will bring you more because we need to acknowledge what we have. If you don't, if you keep on going and not acknowledge what you have, you might lose it. So daily gratitude, and we can talk about this in a separate episode because this is uh, cool stuff to really talk about. But what else is gratitude? It will help you to become more happy and healthy and optimistic in life. Let me know if you agree with me. And if you do any kind of gratitude in life, please write it down. I would love to hear from you. I would love to know what is your gratitude? How do you do your gratitude? I do 10 different things every day and writing thank you for it and really thinking of it. And uh, let me tell you the PM routine that I was talking to you about. When I do the walk of gratitude every night, it's so cool when I lay down in my bed and I have two of those and I'm going to show you. It says gratitude on it. 
but I think everything goes the opposite direction. You see, guys, uh, it says gratitude on it. Yes. You guys see that? So I have two of those. One is on my desk right here, and the other one is by my bed. I always hold it in my hand close to my heart, and I think about these awesome things that happened to me that day. Not only you do more reflection of your day, you do not miss out those little things that you could have missed normally. Because you going through like a movie of your day, like what happened today? Did I miss on anything? Did I say enough thank you to people? Um, and yesterday, I'll give you an example how awesome this was. Yesterday, before uh, our PM routine, my daughter, Ivanka, we were going through, like, every few weeks, we go through the papers that she has from her school because she saves the stuff. So as we were sitting on the ground, we opened up the folder and I was taking paper by paper I was giving to her. Every single time she got the paper from me, she was saying, and thank you. And thank you. She must have said to me a thousand times thank you yesterday. I was so amazed by this because this little seven-year-old, anytime I gave her the paper, she was saying thank you. And she was so submerged and immersed into this whole thing with these papers. It was amazing. So little things like this. And at the end of the day, I, I was like so, so felt like I felt this. It was so amazing. So, you know, for some of you might be like, oh, this is just so, so much stuff. But those are the little things that make us happy in life. So you need to recognize them. And, um, and, and yes, I do this list on my phone. I do this list here and the 10 things that you are uh, grateful for. So really try to do that and let me know how I, I believe that you're going to find more peace in your life. Uh, you're going to, I think, relax a little bit more. And I guarantee you, good things will happen to you. So number seven, habit of writing your goals. And that's what I really want to go back for a second. So as I told you, this is the, 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 the notebook that I had since uh, really early, early 2019. And I write the front, but I also have on the back my 10-year goals, my five-year goals, my cool stuff that I followed off or I found from some books. There's one of the ways that I put stuff here. And I went through my, through my goals, the five-year goals. And as I was reading it, I was like, I could not believe what I found in there. And I found things that already happened. So that's one of the things to write them because if you continuously writing them every day, uh, the connection is made. Uh, besides, it's proven when you write things, like you think about it, right? You think about it and you connect on an emotional level. It's a different connection that just typing in your phone. So I think writing it down is really good. And when you repeat that, maybe daily, you 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 realize what you wrote and you're like, is this really what I want? Is this really something that I want to concentrate on or this is my goal for life? So when I read this and it said here that the the gym will be online, then that we're gonna have we're gonna be living in California. We are in California right now. So we moved from New York two years ago. And in, in early in 2019, I found this. And it was just pretty cool, pretty amazing uh, to see those things. And, and, and ha it, 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 things happen. So make sure that you really write those down. You can go to 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, break them down. And write them daily. It, it's enough for 10. And of, of course, another point of this, write them down in the present tense, which means they are happening right now. Not that you're going to have. And not just taking them for grocery shopping. Like we think sometimes, oh, we spent the time. But this is, a, this is all about quality time, not the quantity. Because sometimes we go into quantity and we don't think like, do you really 
connect with your kids? Do you really sit down on the floor and do these things? Do you do you really play with them? Uh, you know, when we work out as a family, it's like a cool, fun session. And this is a quality time because we teach them during this session. We teach them the discipline. We teach them how to lift weights, right? There are different uh, different subjects being being talked about, but we try not to ever go and talk about business. That's time for something else. So uh, yesterday we were playing the hangman. All of us at the table playing hangman. That was the designated time. Like we have a time for a walk yesterday, but we decided we're not going to go for a walk. We're just going to do like a game. And this can be uh, changed on your schedule. It doesn't say that, oh, if you walk, no matter, even if I don't want to, I have to. This is a must. I have to go for a walk. No, you can change this stuff. So don't be like, but it's all about having uh, the discipline and the focus and the habit of saying, saving that time. That's what it's all about. That's the whole idea. So make sure that you do that uh, and develop the schedule and put it on. That's what we have. So maybe it's going to something, maybe the habit of, you, you only can do this on the weekend, and this is fine. Again, this is supposed to give you an idea to do something on your own. And let me tell you, a lot of times we, we, we skip things. I will do this tomorrow. I will do this next day. I will do this in the weekend. No, really, right now it's the time. If not, you're going to spend on doing other things really not even necessary things. You're going to waste your time maybe browsing through the Instagram and doing other things instead of really focusing and figuring out the schedule. Does it take time? Absolutely, it does. But once it's there, it's much easier. And guys, number nine, developing. I found when Rhonda suggested found, find a rock and they connected to the rocks I got from uh, a friend of mine. And I grabbed the rock and it became the habit. Now it's daily. Um, I can give you another idea. Um, that was one of the books, the, the business books that we were reading was all about creating a jars and putting money into one. And once you're going to finish all your phone calls on your, all your calls to your prospect, you move each time you make a call, you move your money into a different jar. So at the end of the day, you want this jar to be filled. So you're moving from left to right. That's an idea. We did that. We found, you know, we put calendars on our walls or Steve put it for the calls and other things that used to never been here. So anything that you like, you might find today helpful. Maybe you're going to put it on your schedule. Habit. How many? Well, I used to switch between companies, but now I have my two favorites is Herbalife and Trulene. And this is it. And I never miss a shake, guys. Even when I was pregnant, I was drinking one shake a day. So the, the routine is so deep. It's a part of me. It's The habit is a part of me. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, people start sometimes trying to think, what to eat for breakfast? I just switch the flavors. It's so easy. And I know that it's nutritious. Why would I switch and start thinking? I can't even imagine eating eggs for breakfast. It's shake. And that's what gives me amazing uh, energy. And by the way, I'm drinking my tea right now, my herbal tea concentrate. And one of my favorite cups, Habit of Collection. Yeah, collect stuff. I would love to know what you collect. <laughs> I love cups. But anyway, just getting off the topic. Uh, you know, if you, the life will become organized. That's one thing from the ha habits. It will give you, think about it, like everything will be kind of on a schedule. I have a habit of, uh, you know, putting creams on, on my face, drinking my shake, um, uh, going for a walk, exercising, all these things, they're on a schedule. It helps you being organized. It will make, it will help you get in shape because think about it. If you have good habits of eating the right food, you're going to get in shape. You're going to lose the weight. If you're gonna start drinking the shakes like Herbalife, it's such an amazing company, guys. Over 12 years I've been a coach. Not only great taste, but other perks that we can also talk about outside of this, of this video. So think about it. There are other things associated with these things. So opening up your heart and energy to other things that are coming into your life, right? It will keep you in shape. 
It will bring you joy and happiness because those are the good habits and make will make you feel like you are in control of what's controllable, what's controllable for you guys. And we went over this, your attitude, your daily habits, because this is always your choice. What you choose, what you do, it's up to you. If I decide to eat a piece of cake, it's my decision. Nobody ever made me. Even though people say, I went to the party and they had the cake and she made me eat it. Hell no. No, she didn't. You open up your mouth and you ate the cake. It's up to you what you're going to do. So temple, your mind, your body, it's what's controllable, right? What are you doing with this? So this, again, it's, it's, it's a choice but it will help you to do, I'm telling you, I guarantee you, look at your habits today. See the ones that you should kick out the door, push them out your life and say no more and bring the ones that will help you and create a better life for you. Now, I will share with you what routines and what habits I have uh, added recently. So like the rock that I edit at nighttime, Yes. I also, well, it happened, but I can also say that two years ago, I started reading in the morning. I used to never read. And now I, for the past two years, I've been reading in the morning. Uh, but I used to put the reading, but now I read two types of things, like more positive, like kind of mindset in the morning to set me, go to get me going, right? Um, what other, well, it's been a few years since uh, we, we don't watch the news. Of course, we want to stay up to date and we want to take a glimpse just to be in a loop, but you will never see us watching the news. And the simple thing is why? Because news continue to scare people, cause you fear, cause you unhappiness, and you're going to be concentrating on things that don't matter in your life, that you have no control over it. You, you need to block certain things and concentrate on things that you have full control of. Uh, what else I've been doing? Well, we had a thinking corner for the past two years since we've been here in, in California, but we had thinking corner for both of us. So one time, if Steve would be doing this, then I would have to wait or I would sit here and then eventually I would sit down in the thinking corner. I'm looking right at them. So I created my own thinking corner a few months ago. It's right there in front of me. I have my own. So Steve sits on one side. I sit on, I sit on the other. And we have our own thinking corner, which is cool. And you would find out about this whole thinking corner, what the Russian, which is me, did through our other episodes of the Russian and the Freak when I have with Steve. Um, yeah, and uh, upcoming episode is actually uh, soon. So uh, this week, and add those things to your calendar. And how I go about this in the beginning, because it's something new. You need to make a focus, and you need to think about it. Oh, now I thought about what else I did. Uh, a friend of mine uh, gave me. Uh, this cooling mask for your eyes for my eyes and I've been and I thought what on earth I can do this I am not a person that will really do these masks uh very rarely I will do them I'd rather go and get my facial so I would put them during my meditation in the morning that's what I put them. So 10 minutes of this cooling mask and it became that's the vibrancy that we have so uh, Years ago, if somebody would have asked me about this or would tell me this is what you're going to be doing, I would be like, oh, my God, really? Would I be doing this? That would be so cool if I would go into the future and see this. So things will change, and it's, and it's going to be pretty cool and pretty amazing. So, uh, again, um, what else we have added? The journaling at nighttime. You know, this has been such a pleasure to do this. And do this for been doing this for a while, but used to never been so organized. And it helped us with greeting the new week because when you do this, when you close one week, it's almost like a closure. Close the week, see what you've done, being accountable, and moving on to the next. All right, guys. So nine different things. I hope this was helpful. And again, please 
drop your information to the uh, attached link and schedule a 20 minutes coaching call with me that will change your life. And now uh, we have introduced also not only one-on-one coaching, but also group coaching, the mind, body, and business that you go going to have daily workouts for you you're going to with us with fitness coaches and trainers that have been in the business for 20 years you're going to have motivation uh, information daily and once a month coaching call with the group accountability coaching that will change your life we're going to be discussing 60 to 90 minutes of different things and that's what's going to make you accountable plus plus listen to this a daily debrief daily debrief that's going to go deep down into your life so you can scale and exceed and learn new skills and 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 really go forward with your life. So I hope this is helpful. Looking forward to, to really get in touch with you all, to really have a connection and help you in your life. Because again, life is amazing. So be who you desire and want to be. No excuses. Thank you guys for joining me. I will talk to you later. Have a fantastic day.